With the fifth day of the 2013 Warrior Games underway, we took some time during the archery competition to speak with athletes and coaches about their thoughts and experiences in this year's games. One common theme was the sense of camaraderie that exists between the athletes. Um, when you get into it with a group of people who have been through a similar situation, similar trauma, uh, they understand more than uh, anyone else does. Um, a lot of people don't understand, you know, the psychological effects of, uh, of being burned, of, of having cancer, or uh, suffering a, a combat wound. But when you get together with other people who have the exact same injuries or illnesses, uh, you start talking, uh, you, one person tells you how they got through it, um, so it becomes therapy. I did the trials last year. And uh, I loved it, you know. I was still in the Marine Corps at the time, now I'm, I'm out. But to come back and see all my brothers again and, and have a friendly competition over it, that makes everything worthwhile. Not only are the Warrior Games a chance for wounded, ill, and injured service members to compete and share common experiences, they are another step on the long road to recovery. Archery in particular helps warriors with traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of the archers that get into archery tell me that their PTSD and their TBI kind of reduces, especially when they're shooting, because there is such a requirement for concentration that it kind of blanks out a lot of the other stuff. For warriors suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder or traumatic brain injuries, this ability to block out the surrounding world provides a brief respite from a condition that often dominates every aspect of their lives. From the defense media activity, I'm Petty Officer Joshua Shepard.